In this video, I'll show you how to import your Live 2D model into Animaze. Animaze is the successor software to FaceRig and is coming to Steam. It has improved tracking and avatar embodiment, streamlined usability, new avatar creation tools, and documentation, and it will be free to download and use. There are optional subscriptions for some premium features as well. Whereas FaceRig requires a Live 2D DLC in order to use Live 2D models, in Animes, Live 2D is included in all versions of Animes. There is no need for a DLC. Holotech is promising a lot of exciting updates, including new features and functionality for streamers, VTubers, and Live 2D designers. Some of you may have heard of or tried out Animes when it was first announced in September. But at launch, they've already made a number of improvements for Live 2D avatars, including a streamlined import flow and updated behavior for special poses and special actions. In this video, I'll show you how quickly and easy it is to import your Live 2D models into Animes. Let's first talk about Live 2D requirements. To work with Animes, your Live 2D model must be created with the Live 2D Cubism Editor version 3.0 or higher. Cubism 3.0 was released in Spring 2017, so if you have a model and it was created after that, then your model is likely meeting the requirements. If your model is lower than 3.0, then you need to first import the model into a Live 2D Cubism Editor that is 3.0 or higher, and then re-export your model as a 3.0 or higher version. In order to import your model into Animes, you need all of your Live 2D runtime files organized in the standard folder hierarchy. Additionally, your model3.json file and your .moc3 file must use the same file name. If they have different file names, Animes may fail to import all of your model files. If you have all the requirements ready, then go ahead and download and install Animes app. If you have trouble installing it, you may ask for help in their official Discord channel. Assuming you have installed Animes app into Steam properly and you're able to start up Animes app, now we can talk about how to import your model into Animes app. Animes has been designed to make it as easy as possible for us to take our existing Live 2D models from FaceRig and start using them in Animes. The simplest way to import your FaceRig Live 2D model or any Live 2D model into Animes is through Animes built-in Live 2D import feature. Simply open Animes, click on the Import section of the top menu bar, and select Import Live 2D Avatar. When the file browser opens, find your models model3.json file, select it, and then click Open. You should see your avatar in Animes already. Now that you've imported your model, you are free to use it in Animes as you see fit. Make sure to test your model and ensure it is working as expected. If it does, you are all set and no need to take any more action. Congratulations on importing your first model. If your model isn't behaving as expected, let's say it looks blurry or certain parts are not responding to tracking input, or your special action or poses aren't accessible. You will need to import the model into Animes Editor to debug and fix any issues with your model. So what is Animes Editor? Animes Editor is a standalone software next to Animes App. 
We will now cover what Animate's Editor do and how to use it. To get started, download the free Animate's Editor from Steam. Go to your Steam library, make sure the Tools box is checked from your library drop-down menu. Then, select and install Animate's Editor. Once the download is completed, Open Editor and import your Live 2D model. Here's what we got to do. Navigate to the Assets menu and select Import Live 2D Avatar. Select your models.json file and hit Open. Check all the boxes in the import list and make sure all of your model files are being imported. Dismiss the import log and view your avatar in editor's viewport. Check out this link for further details instructions on how to import your Live 2D model into editor. If you need any help, remember Holotech has an official Discord server. Now let's talk about how to debug your model's problem. Once we've loaded in your model into Anime's editor, we can fix several things. For example, let's say your avatar appears blurry in Anime's app. You will need to change its render size. Click on the model's name in the hierarchy panel on the left to view the avatar's inspector on the right. To increase the visual fidelity of your model, increase the render size value. Animes supports a maximum render size of 4096 and a minimum of 512. For the next part, we will check to make sure your model's parameters are mapped correctly. If parts of your avatar is not responding to the tracking input in Animes app, you likely need to update your parameter mapping. Normally, if all your Live 2D model's parameter ID are named according to Live 2D's standard default ID names, Animes will automatically import all of them. However, if you use custom parameter IDs, you will need to map each custom parameter ID to its corresponding default parameter name. This will make sure Animes knows how to animate your model in response to the tracking input. This is how we remap the params. Scroll down and click on Parameter Remapper to expand the tool. You will see a list of default parameters supported by Animes under Default Parameter Name. Make sure each of these parameters is matched to the correct custom parameter ID of your model. If a parameter is undefined, it will not be recognized by Animes and will be unaffected by the tracking input. Go through the parameter list and make sure all the parameters that your model uses are mapped correctly. Now that you have increased your model's render size and remapped your parameters, you're ready to save your changes and export your .avatar bundle from the editor. The .avatar bundle file type is a unique file for Anime's app to use. It takes four simple steps to get your model exported as a .avatar bundle. And here's how we do it. Step one, in the hierarchy panel on the left, right-click on your model's name and choose Bundle. A new window will prompt you to save all changes that you have made to the avatar prior to bundling it. Select the folder that you want the bundle to be exported in. By default, the system will put it in the resource directory of the editor, but you can change this anytime. Once it's decided, click Select Folder. The system will notify you the progress and the completion of the bundle processing. Click OK when it's done. Note that the name of the .avatar file has to be the same as your model's model3.json file or it will be flagged as a new import. The editor automatically assigns the model's file name to your .avatar file, so you don't have to change anything. Finally, we can re-import our model into Anime's app to use it again, but this time 
we will import the .avatar bundle that we just created. Step 1, open animes. Step 2, in the upper left menu, select import avatar. Step 3, browse the .avatar file on your PC and hit open, the one that we just exported. Step 4, in animes windows app, go to animes, select avatars, and click on the all avatars tab. The one you imported will be on the imported shelf. There's an even easier way to import your avatar into Animes Windows app. Simply click drag and drop the avatar file anywhere into the app. Browse the item you've imported on the appropriate shelf and that's it. Once again, a reminder that if you're not a subscriber and you pay for each live duty import, if you've already paid for once, you will not have to pay again for this import. You just have to make sure your .avatar file name is the same as your Model 3 JSON file name. This is the end of the tutorial. I hope you see how easy it is to import a Live 2D model, the same model you used in FaceRig, now to continue using it in Animes, and enjoy the new features and improved functionalities that Animes offers. This is Brian from Iron Vertex. I'll see you next time.